Well, it's the middle of the night and I've just come running down the road in the dark because I've seen that the neighbour's house bus has caught fire. I don't know how bad it is. Oh, wow. So, here's the fire brigade. Looks like they've probably got it out by now. Oh my god. Is he out? I don't know. You don't know? Well, I can't see from here, can I? Oh, sorry, okay. I'm a bit concerned. Well, it's not the right light for it, that's for sure. I don't want to get in the boys' way. But it's, uh, it's all over the stretcher's house. It's gone. Well, it's 7 a.m. Monday. I've just been chatting to Stretch. It's just got lights, or getting light. Stretch has had to go to work. Um, he's got animals to feed, so he has to be there at 7 a.m., get the day started. And he's left me here just to have a look around and shoot a bit of footage. Next thing I'll do is go up and visit the thrift stores, the Salvation Army, let them know what's happened and uh, we'll see if we can get some stuff together for Stretch. He's only got his bicycle and the clothes he was wearing at the time. Everything else that was in the bus is gone. There's absolutely nothing left whatsoever. Every pane of glass smashed. The aluminium panels warped, buckled, in some cases they've uh, sagged and peeled off. See the holes in them? Down the back, down here, there's one big hole. That's where the LPG bottle let rip. Thankfully it didn't explode, it just blew out with a huge sheet of flame. Poor buggers last, lost absolutely everything. Everything he had was in there. He is a bit of a minimalist. He doesn't have a lot. Now he's got even less. So if you can think of a way that we can help him, leave your suggestions in the uh, comments down below. Thank you.